Welcome to Europe and its connected electricity system. These European grid connections allow Europeans from 36 countries to benefit from a more sustainable, secure and affordable supply of electricity. This interconnected system naturally requires a lot of coordination. This coordination is well established among those who operate the grid 24-7, the Transmission System Operators, or TSOs. They operate at European level within ENSO-E and at regional level in Regional Security Coordinators, or RSCs. So, let's meet the RSCs and discover more about them. We are in the Corizo Coordination Room where the operators working 24-7 are coordinating the actions of the TSOs. As a coordinator, as a regional coordinator, we need also to work together. This is why with our colleagues from uh, Nordic RSC, Baltic RSC, LCC and TSCnet, we had a lot of exchanges. Exchanges within uh, NSOE community to uh, share common understanding on what should be done, how to implement the services. The challenges for Corezo over the next couple of years will be to implement uh, the system operation guidelines and the capacity allocation and congestion management guidelines uh, to a level that is uh, both acceptable for uh, the regulator, legislation and the shareholders, but that's also feasible uh, and, uh, and manageable uh, from an operational point of view. What you can see here is a SEC operational room which is situated uh, within the premises of Serbian TSO. At the moment, SEC is building completely new and bigger operations room along with new offices. SEC is providing RSC services to EU and non-EU TSOs in the Southeast Europe region. With other RSCs, SEC is having excellent cooperation both bilaterally and within many NSOE working groups and projects. One of the biggest issues is that majority of Southeast Europe countries are non-EU, on which EU legislation do not apply mandatory. Nordic RC is still in a development phase. However, we have started two of our business processes together with the Nordic TSOs and overall we're supporting the Nordic TSOs in uh, the daily planning and in their decision making. There are no average day in the Nordic RSC. Uh, every day consists of different meetings and different challenges uh, in order to support the five services that we are providing. The key challenge is to get a good data basis for our decisions. In that respect, we are uh, or have been developing the Nordic common grid model and that is a significant challenge uh, for all TSOs and for the RSC. In the Nordic area we have a long history of cooperation between the TSOs even before the RSC was established, so the cooperation is very well. Um, we of course have to understand the differences between the different TSOs and of course between the RSCs, but all in all I think that the cooperation is really good. Every of our customer has their own op operators, but they are focused mainly on their own grids. And we as RSC are helping them to look across the border, to check what is going on in neighboring TSOs, because they are all part of big European transmission system. Um, they, without RSC, can easily fly blind. So we are helping them to see where are the congestions. You can look at RSC as a navigation system. We are telling them what to expect and where is possible traffic jam. It's really hard to say where the journey will go in the next three to five years. And you might have heard of um, yeah, the 2020 and a lot of additional services we are supposed to provide within the next one or two years. Um, and that's a relatively short time frame to, to ramp up the, the tools and know-how for that. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges we actually face that um, yeah, to be really ready for those additional services 
um, we need to have a really high degree of adaptability of the team, of our platform, um, to be ready for that. Now, renewable energy sources are the biggest challenge in a transmission system. Um, even though we have good forecasts of wind and the solar, again, there is a slight uh, chance to be some uh, mistake in those forecasts, which can cause problems. Essentially, we collect data from the TSO and provide uh, processed information back to TSO. Most of the challenges are involved with uh, making the services better, uh, improving them for the future. This includes all of the projects which we have to tender the different softwares and, and I think mo many of them are involved with the IT. The challenge to face we come also from our history. So because we are seeing the biggest area of Crete altogether, so from Spain to basically above Urals, because the Crete model that we are putting here together is covering most of Europe and, and uh, also Russia. Because the, the coordination cycle that, and the frequency area that we are part also is uh, Russia and Belarusia. And this is a huge area to cover. Currently, we have like uh, six persons working for Baltic RSC and one main manager. So two personnel are in uh, Lithuania, two in Latvia, and three persons are in um, Estonia. The most difficult problem for me is like, uh, for example, it can be like changing weather. So we need to change like operating limits. So I, all the time I need to pay attention to all the data I get and with data I'm working with. With Nordic, Nordic RSC we have very good cooperation. Uh, we have monthly meetings. With TCNet we are starting the discussion. We are going to visit them all, uh, in a couple of months and to start the cooperation and to sign the agreements and everything. It is clear RSCs play a vital role in our energy system. Thanks to them, TSOs can make better decisions and optimize the use of the network in all security. By pulling together resources from across European regions, consumers' bills decrease, while knowledge and expertise increase. It's a win-win. Thanks to the RSCs, the energy transition is taking shape. Together with all stakeholders, they are building a European power system that is secure, competitive and sustainable.